This is our control and ops room, which we're very proud of. It has uh, CCTV cameras looking at the, both the road network across Greater Manchester and also the Metrolink network as well. We can make adjustments to traffic signals, we can at real time see where problems exist and make those adjustments so traffic moves more freely and we can give out information to the public about how their journeys may be affected. The highways team at Transport for Greater Manchester does a great amount of work. Uh, we do all sorts from um, managing and maintaining 2,400 traffic signals, designing junctions and road space improvements, it's looking after the key route network which is the main routes in, in Greater Manchester. We have a drive safe team. We also uh, have do traffic modelling uh, and look after the, the road networks across Greater Manchester. We're in Manchester City Centre just outside Piccadilly Station. I'm here to check the signal timings on the side. It's currently in the rush hour, so I've come out on site and I brought my phone with my app on it. By being on site, you've got a better view of the junction operation. You can see uh, the traffic on all arms of the junction as well as the pedestrians. So it's a pretty remarkable app and uh, with the touch of a button I can change the signal timings on site. So it's obviously not something you can download in the app store. Charles Taylor and I'm a UTC engineer uh, in the urban traffic control team. We're responsible for the undertaking the design and modelling of traffic signal junctions within Greater Manchester. I think the, the key to a good design is ensuring that it's efficient for all modes of transport, so that's not just walking, cycling and for the traffic on the, the uh, carriageway also. So this morning I've been working on a design in Charlton, a cycling and walking scheme where there's a big push for getting people out of the cars and, and walking and cycling to short trips and journeys to work or schools etc. Designing junctions is my job, I, I get a lot of satisfaction from taking it from concepts and then seeing it all the way through to the finished implemented design on site. UTC I couldn't recommend it anymore for as far as job satisfaction goes, it's a great team to work for, it's in a great area um, and there's, there's lots of opportunity to move upwards and onwards as well and, and progress in your career. My name is Chris Thompson and I am a design engineer for Highways Urban Traffic Control Team. Well today we are at the junction of Barton Dock Road and Mercury Way and we're here to look at a brand new junction which has appeared over the last few months and the reason that the junction is here is because the new tram line which opens next year to the traffic centre is in place and we need to ensure that there's no conflicts between the vehicles on the road and the trams which will be coming this way for the first time. It's key to getting the best possible design that we do get out there because there you get a real feel for an area. You can observe traffic, you can observe driver behaviour, you can see things that you know are going to make a difference to the design that you wouldn't perhaps notice from looking at something on a computer screen. Something that you have designed from start to finish is having an effect on thousands of people and to know that you've actually done that and to be able to see it, there's very much a sense of pride there, absolutely, yeah. Well, we're here at uh, Albert Square, just outside Manchester Town Hall, and we're um, we're going to have a look at some new, very new sensors that we've got, uh, which basically count all modes of transport. So they'll count cyclists, pedestrians, buses, cars, everything, and give us a count for each of those different things. Now the sensors work with um, a, a camera to begin with, um, which takes footage, and that footage is then processed. So we use this information for junction modelling. Um, for deciding what sort of provision we need for pedestrians at junctions, um, what, how many buses will go through a junction and, what, and how big the junction may need to be. We can also capture desire lines of where pedestrians are walking. It's that kind of um, intelligence that we gather from these that can be very useful. and I'm an operations technician and we look after two and a half thousand sets of traffic signals. Most people probably think that we only answer the phone and if somebody's driving by and sees traffic lights all out, that, that is the only way that we know but we actually monitor the majority of those sets of traffic lights through computer systems. Well we've got a major set of traffic lights in Stockport Tower which is St Mary's Way and Newbridge Lane. Um, I've just passed it for an engineer to visit. I've also 
pass the information to our control centre so they can tweet it out so members of the public don't have to ring in, they'll be notified beforehand when they go in on their journeys. I'm Sam Combs, I'm a transport planner in the HVAS team. That stands for the Highways Forecasting and Analytical Services team. It's basically about using data and models um, to help clients to understand their, the impacts of their plans and proposals on the highway network. So at the moment I'm, I'm working on a project for a local authority who want to understand the impact of their housing uh, developments um, on local traffic. We can look at um, not only traffic, we look at buses, we can look at cyclists, we can potentially look at pedestrians as well. I found it really interesting and I think it suits my, uh, my skill set. It's nice to be able to walk around Manchester and see things that potentially you're impacting yourself. So it's getting towards the evening peak now and there's a football match at Manchester City and it's Manchester City against Schalke. There are lots of football fans in the city centre and they'll be marching towards the stadium in a bit and then the police will be closing some of the roads and when they do that then we'll have to um, monitor the network and see where the congestion is and um, make interventions to make traffic flow a bit more efficiently. Uh, so a lot of the traffic signals are connected to computers in this room and um, we can change the signal timings remotely in this room. So we have the CCTV so we can see what's happening on the network and then we'll, we'll use that to coordinate our changes. There is so much happening in, in the space of highways at the moment. Autonomous vehicles, uh, development on traffic signal technology, using artificial intelligence, the whole challenge we have about getting more people out of their cars, using sustainable modes, whether it be cycling or walking, making the streetscapes more attractive to people so the environments are better, the designs of junctions so they're more people friendly. These are all the challenges we face and you know, it's a really exciting programme of work for us going forward. We're looking for people who really want to uh, develop their skills as a transport engineer. There's so much exciting um, activity going on in the highways team at the moment, some really big challenges and we'd love you to get involved and join us at the TFGM's highways team.